in New Mexico the Automatis brokerage relationship is transaction broker providing real estate related services without creating an agency relationship. Does this mean that I and my client are prohibited from having an agency relationship? That does not seem fair. Not at all. What we have in New Mexico is choice dot 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 whereas in many other states real estate brokers have no choice and must work as agents whether they want to or not. So, I can provide services to my clients or customers without entering an agency relationship. That sounds good to some of my clients because they were afraid of liabilities. Yes. The legal term is respondeat superior or vicarious liability and should be a concern with anyone wanting an agency relationship if service without agency can do the job. So, can I have a written contract for exclusive services when I want to sell or buy property without creating an agency relationship? Certainly, and in fact in New Mexico the transaction broker listing or buyer agreement is what is almost universally used throughout the state. You have been a real help with something that has been puzzling me for some time. What else can you tell me? When offering real estate services there are really only two types of roles exclusive services and impartial services and only two types of brokerage relationships. So, how does a person make these choices? Based on what the task happens to be. With property management, choose agency. When providing listing or selling services chose transaction brokerage choose based on task. So, if transaction brokerage gets the job done professionally, why choose agency? Agency is a powerful relationship when a principal needs to have the agent make representations and decisions and commitments without the principal's further approval. But, my clients don't want me to commit them to anything. They make their own decisions and will cancel my agreement with them if I did otherwise. Exactly. There is the right brokerage relationship for specific assignments. Choice makes that possible whether it is transaction brokerage or agency. Should I ever provide dual agency? I would not think so. Dual agency was invented so brokers in agency only states could double ended transaction. In New Mexico we have a non-agency alternative. What, pray tell is that? Dual transaction broker impartial facilitation. It should be in writing to modify any exclusive agreements in place. So, what does this impartiality look like? Treating both parties the same way by offering both the services they indicate without making decisions for either and preserving their individual confidentialities. Maybe we can meet again sometime? Of course, Agnes, I am Max. Your qualifying broker.